So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I'm gonna take a look at the stances for sites, that being Reaping Spyro and Stalking Fan. And let's start off with Reaping Spiral, which is described as a stance with far-flung attacks and multi-hit combos, and it has a dash polarity which matches the Hate and Reaper Prime. So the first combo is called Reclamation, and this is your standard EEEE button match, and there is nothing unusual about this combo apart from the final attack, which does 25% increased damage. The second combo is called Abyssal Automaton and you have to pause after the third attack to execute it. Now this starts off with three regular strikes and after the pause you will flip forward while throwing the scythe forward resulting in a fourth regular strike and it ends with a penta strike as you spin the scythe mid-air. And the third and final combo is called Eternal Nocturne and all you have to do to execute this one is hold forward while mashing the melee button. And this combo starts off with a regular strike and is then followed by another regular strike and it ends with a side flip that will ragdoll enemies really far away from you on top of doing 100% extra damage. Now this stance drops from the Corpus Crewman, so you want to do Corpus missions that are between levels 1 and 15, because above level 15 the regular crewmen will be replaced by elite crewmen and elite crewmen do not drop this stance. And moving on to the second stance, Stalking Fan, which is described as a stance with lunging spirals and shattering combos and it has a double dash polarity which matches the Anku and Aether Reaper. So the first combo is called Many Tears and this is your standard EEE button mash. And this combo starts off with a regular strike, it is then followed by a strike that will proc impact and does 10% extra damage and it ends with a double strike that does 10% extra damage. The second combo is called Dying Light and all you have to do to execute this one is hold forward while mashing the melee button. So this combo starts off with a regular strike, it is then followed by a strike that will proc impact and does 10% extra damage and after that you will do a lunge forward which does 75% extra damage and it ends with an AoE triple strike that does 50% extra damage and the movement animations are affected by your Warframe's movement speed. And the third and final combo is called Shadow Wing and you have to hold back while mashing the melee button. And this starts off with a regular strike, it is then followed by a double strike that does 400% damage and it ends with two separate strikes which each do 200% damage. And the animations are once again affected by your Warframe's movement speed. Now I should also say that both stances come with a charge attack so if you hold down the attack button you will do a charge attack that does a hell of a lot of damage. And this stance drops from the Corpus Sniper Crewman and the Corpus Nullifier Crewman. And the best mission for farming those units is Palace on Pluto. Now, which stance do I like more? Actually, I kinda like both stances equally. They have their ups and downs, but I think both stances are fun in their own way. So you should farm both of them and figure out which one you like more. And that's it for the site stances, so I thank you very much for watching once again, and if you're interested in other stances, you can click the link in the description and it will take you to the Warframe stances playlist. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.